Hey, it's Ryan Cavino with RyanCavinoRealEstate.com bringing you the South Boston market update for condos with the week ending March 9th. We'll get rid of that one because it's been on for 139 days. But we get roughly six new properties, 10 going under agreement, excuse me, 10 going under agreement, and two sold. Let's dive into it. Let's check what's going on here. You get a two bedroom. You get a two bedroom, one bath for 329 with deeded parking. This is a pretty good deal. It's uh, 670 square feet. It looks pretty modern. I mean, the kitchen is what it is. I mean, it's it's older. I mean, it's not like it's um, in poor condition. I think the property is in pretty good condition, to be honest with you. It's clean. It's got recessed lighting. It's got good office space. I think that's a pretty nice looking place. 353 West 2nd for 345. Now, this has uh, about 300 square feet more. But uh, and it's a little bit modern, but it's on for 345. It's a two bedroom, one bath, and let's see. I'm not sure. It does have central air, has some high ceilings. There is one parking spot as well, which is awesome. 759 East 7th Street, and this is a two bedroom, one and a half bath, and. It is about 1,153 square square feet, so it's on East 7th. It has a really nice... What do you think about the couches across from each other? I'm not sure if I'm a fan, but it uh, it's getting done there. It does have a back patio and yard and a pretty nice uh, bathroom with tile. I think the Howard floors are great. I think the recessed lighting's great. I think this is a nice place at 389 Could be a little bit high. Um, yeah, and it's an owner occupy, uh, for sale by owner, so I bet you it is a little bit too priced, too highly priced. 530 East 8th Street, you can see there's a lot of sunlight coming into this bi level condo. It has uh, two bedrooms, two full baths, the master, and it has its own separate entrance. Interesting, you can see the pitched roof here with. The toilet all by itself over there. And a cloth foot tub and a shower. This is a really interesting layout. Interesting. And then six Burnham Place Unit One. This was an this is new. It's uh does have one car off street parking. 1,560 square feet, which is big. This is a little bit tight, the uh, this spot right here with all that furniture. And it does have, it looks like it's a secondary living room where you have the ability to watch TVs or have entertain the game, etc., etc. Got uh, two and a half baths, and this looks like it's the bi level, first floor, and the grade level. They are not having an open house just yet, but it's on for two and a half. Um, I'm sorry, it's on for 575 and it's been on for just about two days. Now, we do have a few that went under agreement. Hopefully, we'll try to get through all of them. We have um, 55 Story Street, Unit 3. Nice um, four bedroom. Four room, two bedroom, one bath. It's been on for 54 days, and this was a, a for sale by owner, and they were able to get it under agreement by themselves, which is great. 439 West 4th Street. I dig the stairs. I like the stairs going out to either a deck or some sort of uh, outdoor space. I always thought that was cool when you have separation and you have the the, the chair, the uh, steps making it to the, uh, to the different outdoor space. I always thought that was pretty cool. 138, 190 West 9th Street, Unit 3. It is pretty much uh, a, a unit that's got parking. Two bedrooms, one bath, under agreement at 349. It, uh, it's been on the market for 122 days, and that's what it took. Uh, we got 390, I saw which is 399 East 7th Street, and this is a penthouse sun-filled corner exposure. This is brand new, I believe, and uh, no, it's not, but it does have updated cabinets, does have um, three bedrooms, one full bath for 399. I think we saw this. We put the, this is fairly new to the market. Uh, it came on 15 days ago, and it went quickly. I wonder if there's the potential. You have the rear deck to cupola, which leads to exclusive roof deck. I'm pretty sure the cupola is like a like kind of like a covered area, like a room that gets to the to the deck. But 
I thought that was a little high at three ninety nine. The it's just a three bedroom one bath. It doesn't really have the top of the line amenities and stuff like. Take a look at some of the counter, the uh, appliances and cabinetry here. But I guess I was wrong. Um, this property was on the market for a uh, forty five days before it uh, went under agreement. Now moving on, three sixty eight Dorchester Street under agreement four thirty nine. Check out the. I love the dark cabinets with the white countertop and the white backsplash. This is a really cool unit. It's got deeded garage parking. It's got outside space, and it's just steps from the T. Take a look at this. The, you know, you got the chairs for if you wanted to lay out. There's also a grill, which I'm sure you could ask to stay, but if it doesn't, you can always get your own. Thousand square feet, two bedroom, two full bath. And then gates. Unit one and unit two, new construction, new conversion. Um, very cool layout, very nice cabinetry. Lots of open floor plan. The um, the decks are awesome too because everyone has their own little private deck. It looks like this might be a brand new construction from the ground up. I think that's what it is. Yeah, built 2010. Pretty cool place. But they took about 277 days or so, each of them. 625 East 2nd Street, Unit 2. No other pictures, but that's a two-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath. It's 1,400 square feet. does have a deep parking spot, which is fantastic. Got 499 in about two months, which is uh, pretty good for a $500,000 price tag. And then this place, I haven't been in, but it looks fantastic. It's 1,200 square feet and has a really great floor plan. Uh, kind of uh, a lot of high-end stuff with glass shower doors and gleaming hardwood floors and look at all the recessed light, lights it's probably about 30 right there so that's what went under agreement and then what sold was 148 F Street was uh, sold for 310 was on the market for 319 it's a two bedroom one bath it's got a little bit of a loft area it's over off of West Broadway and um, it was on the market for about 20 days so 319 was a pretty good price 68 G Street and <coughs> that's East Broadway to G Street and it's a restored brownstone which is awesome I love these kitchens when they go front to back like that um, this is the first floor of the property and there's probably a few levels you had two living levels it's all for 475 it's got crown moldings two bedrooms two full baths it took about uh, 252 days which is a lot but it started at 539 so they're probably priced a little bit too high and this is the basement which all right, so here, run, run with me for a second here. You come in, you have, this is your first floor. You got a little bit of a living room, and you got a little bit of uh, uh, eating space. But then on top of that, you get a full finished basement where you have this kick-ass into like living area, and you might have the basement bedrooms as well. I think that may be the case. I think it's gonna be a first floor and grade level. So let's throw in all of the South Boston condos. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see what's trending this week here. They got a lot going on there. Got, jeez, uh, we had a couple of new properties. We had, what did we have? 11 go under agreement or 10? 220 active listings with an average asking price of 431 and a uh, inventory time of just over four months at 124 days. Now, the under agreements we had 10 with a price tag of an average asking price of 427 and a days on market of 132, right around the same neighborhood for both the average list price and the average market time under agreement and uh, act as rate in the same ballpark and then the sold we had two average sales price of 392 and a days on market of 136 so everything this week is showing us that it's about a four month market however there's just two properties in the sold and, and they're both complete opposites one at 20 days one at 252 days so that really is the truest of truths when they're showing the average of one of each end of the spectrum. So that's what we have about a four month market right now for active under agreement and souls. 
and an average uh, price ranging from 431 of the actives all the way down to 392 for the sales price. If you have any questions, give me a shout, ryan at ryancavino.com. We'll talk to you soon.